Hi, Eric here with Style with Knowledge. I'm a Prosper You stylist. This is Tanya. I'm gonna show you a look right now that I just love. It is six knots with a couple of French braids in the back. A lot of different ways to do this, but this is just so much fun. So we prepped Tanya's hair just by doing a nice little blow dry with a paddle brush. Now, I think a little dry shampoo is absolutely fantastic. Give the hair a little bit more grit. So when you want a little bit more grit, just take and use a little dry shampoo in the hair. All right, we're gonna start off Tanya's updo by just combing this back and we're gonna go right in the middle. And all we're gonna do is go down the sides about to the top of the ear. Now, the thicker that your section is, the bigger your knots are gonna be. Put a little clip right there. I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side, right back to right just behind the ear area. So I'm just gonna comb all this together and put it into a big knot just so it's not in my way. All right, so we're gonna go to the top. Now, we're gonna slice that hair back and we've got a fairly good sized section here. Comb all this hair back and now we're ready for our figure eight knots. So palms are up. I've got the hair with my right hand, index finger and middle finger while I'm holding it with the left hand. All I'm gonna do is whirly bird this hair around. So my palms are down. All I'm gonna do is walk around like this. I'm gonna grab the hair with my right hand now, index finger, middle finger, and I'm just gonna pull this hair right the way through and pull it forward until it makes a little knot. Okay, so here's our section. Palms up, whirly bird around, palms down. Walk this hair right the way around with the left hand. Put it between the index finger, the middle finger, and all you're gonna do is pull it through once again, just like that. All right, now I'm gonna move over to the other side and I'm gonna work at salon speed. We've got all of the knots done. We've got six knots here. And all I'm gonna do is comb through this just a little bit of the dry shampoo once again. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing, but a little different. Palms up, but this time, instead of whirly burning the fingers around, I'm gonna reach my left hand over, I'm gonna grab the hair, I'm gonna walk it around to the front, and I'm gonna put it right between those two fingers. And all I'm gonna do is pull that through. As I pull it through, I'm gonna gently just give this a push, and it's gonna go forward. All right, we're gonna take our bobbies, and this is about one of the only times you're gonna see me actually open the bobby pins. And I open just to make sure that I clasp all that hair and I'm just gonna push it forward, put a lot of pins in. This hair that's left right here, I'm just gonna walk it over and I'm gonna put a pin right here. All I'm gonna do is go down like this and I'm gonna twist it over like this and tuck it in and just eliminate that. But I'd like to editorialize it just a little bit more. So let's move around our knots just a little bit and if we just unlock them like this and pull them out, you can see that we get a whole different profile and it just allows you to really customize and personalize this look and just spray really light. Let me say that in the back, you could do almost anything you want. That's up to you. Today, I'm gonna do two French braids and I'm gonna pancake these braids to show you what that looks like. Coming through here. Now, all I'm gonna do is take a horizontal diagonal section from here all the way over to the other side. I'm gonna feel the weight of both sides to make sure I've got two sides that are fairly even. Take all this hair, I'm gonna put a little clip to get it out of the way. So position the client's head to make it easy for you. I'm gonna take my left hand with this French braid and I'm just gonna stick it right through the hair just like this. Now what I'm gonna do now is take my right hand and I'm gonna pinch it with my thumb and index finger and just rotate my hand right around. So I have got the same amount of hair in my right hand, the same section between my thumb and my index finger, the index finger and the middle finger and the middle finger and my ring finger. Now what I'm gonna do now is go in and grab it again. And now you can see the sections starting to cross. We're gonna pick up sections from the outside edge and add them to the outside edge. So there's a section. I'm gonna add that to the outside edge. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna pinch that hair right in the middle, twist this around just like this. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna grab another section and I'm gonna add it to this outside edge right here. All right, working that all the way down. Now once I get to the end, all we're gonna do here is braid this in a typical braid fashion. Okay, I'm just gonna put a clip to hold the hair right now, and I'm gonna take a little dry shampoo, and we're gonna spray this entire thing with dry shampoo. I'm gonna do this side at salon speed.
Now what we are going to do is pancake. So I just take that section and I'm just pulling it and you can see what happens as we pull the hair. It just pancakes it out. You can see why I like to have these kind of marry in with the bottom section there. So that looks like they are all joined together. Okay, pancake all the way out, all the way out. Love it, love it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna join this section with this section. So I'm just gonna pin this in right here to make sure that this is seamless with this other section. And another pin just to make sure this is connected or seamless to this other section. If you want to, you can curl this hair, you could back comb it. You know, the choice is really up to you. And spray. So this is our six knots. Two French braids. We started right in the front with uh, the knots. We went to the back. We started with the bottom one first, and we just did a French braid, then we did the top, and then we just blended them together right down through here. And I think she looks absolutely amazing. This is Style with Knowledge. Thanks for watching.